The legislative session adjourning early this morning after a late night run. State Capitol Newsroom reporter Chris Bungard now takes a look, takes us through what happened. The Tennessee legislative finale began early Thursday and went into the wee hours of Friday. And also it's 3.10 a.m. Uh, I think it's just past 3.15 a.m. and we've just adjourned sunny die. It's the Latin term signaling the end of the two-year Tennessee legislative session, but some lawmakers still had things to say. I won't take long. I know that it's late. No one can remember such a wee hour adjournment, but a state budget snag unsnarled with compromises between the Republican-dominated House and Senate. Minority Democrats were critical. So we did pass a budget, um, which I did not support for a number of reasons, particularly related to teacher funding and funding for maternal health. The 2021 budget ended up with no state teacher raises as planned in Governor Lee's proposal earlier this year or money to study postpartum issues for young mothers. Also, no major expansion of sales tax holidays. But who are those who did get help in the state budget? So the local governments will have extra money that they can help make up some of the deficits that was caused by the COVID-19. That will be about $200 million sent to the states by the federal government as part of the CARES Act. But amidst all the numbers, it was a retiring Knoxville lawmaker who banged the final House gavel. He adjourned, sine die. Bill Dunn served 26 years with an honest character never questioned. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard.